Hi, I'm Streaky. This is Metropolis Mastering. Today I'm going to discuss why mastering is like plastic surgery. So I was talking to a friend of mine yesterday, David from IDC, name check. I uh, was discussing limiting and and he came up with a good analogy that he'd seen on a Steve Hoffman website, I think that's right, where if you imagine that the a brick wall on a limiter is a pane of glass, put your face up to the pane of glass, this being the loudest point, this being the lowest point, and you get to the point of the peak, and then you keep pushing your face up against the glass. And so what happens is it, you look like yourself when you're there at the peak, but as you start pushing, the face starts getting spread across the glass and it just gets distorted and then turns the music flat and flatter. It's not getting any louder because it can't go any, anywhere past that peak, but it just gets bigger and fatter and crushed and crushed till it's out of shape. Now, I was thinking about this and I thought, well, actually, I guess that with mastering, the whole point of mastering and good mastering is you've got it crushed and it's you've, the face is crushed against the wall because everyone tries to get it loud and they want it pushed. It's not getting any louder in terms of that, but it's to try and make it look louder and, and bigger. Is to who's the best kind of plastic surgeon, if you like, who can recreate the face so it looks kind of similar to... Uh, to the, what was there originally, but so that it's also crushed and sort of super loud as it, as it possibly can be, um, or the, the feeling of it being loud, shall I say, perceived loudness. And, um, and I guess that's kind of it, really. It's kind of how can you manipulate the sound? So how can it look? It's like one of those faces that you've seen that's had loads of plastic surgery and it kind of looks good. But if you see one that looks really bad and everything's puffy and distorted, I guess that's similar to bad mastering. Anyway, thought it was a good analogy, thought it might work as kind of uh, show you a layman's term of what limiting and compression does to a sound. Um, if you've got any questions, please put them in the bottom. Uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.